Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money. Welcome. This is my first ever reaction video. And what better way to start off my first reaction video than for it to be about something that I love besides video games, and that's anime. So y'all know the RDC World 1 people, they made black people in anime. And I personally have not seen it yet. I know. It's been out for like probably, I think, two weeks or whatever. But I wanted to save it for this video right now. And the thumbnail has been really just getting to me. I really wanted to click it, but I said, you know what? Nah, I'm going to wait. So, the original video, the link to it will be in the description below. So, if y'all haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure y'all have, but if you haven't, you can go watch it and then come back and see my reaction. So, without further ado, guys, we're going to watch this. And at the end, I will give you my personal thoughts, and I really want to show you guys something. So, let's get right into it. Black people don't want no damn anime. He said, just like it, nigga. <laughs> hey, nice tech attack on Titan post. Digging that Naruto shirt. I, I just don't understand. I feel like black people watch anime, but don't like to admit it because it's seen as lame, nerdy, or you can't get hold if you watch it. First off, what nigga hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z? Tell me a nigga that hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z. And if you say you haven't, I'm just going to assume you lie because I know for a fact. Everybody, you can't tell me one person like that don't know who Goku is. is. Like you born in the hospital and somebody just put that shit on the TV. So you probably think, okay, that's Dragon Ball Z, so it don't really count as anime. Well, what about Boondock? Boondock is basically oh, from anime. So you it's know a cross anime, anime, but it you counts. Boondock. The niggas love Boondock. You, you, can, you ain't gonna tell me that. Boondock. I love Boondock. Hey. Y'all hey. quote Boondock every fucking day of your life if you could. So basically what I'm saying is, you watch anime, do you get old? Of course you do, because every nigga from the age 23 and down is going to say they get old. I'm 22 and guess what, baby? <laughs> I get hoes. And I ain't going to say it again, but listen, if my hoes are watching, listen. I mean, I wouldn't call them hoes, well, but I get know. girlfriends, you know. That's how I go. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is watching anime is not going to stop nobody from getting hoes. You, not. It's going to stop you from getting hoes. You shouldn't have to hide with, Man, with tell anybody. Like, if I bring a girl through the door right now, and she's seeing anime posts on the wall, and she's talking about, you ain't watching all that anime shit? I don't give a fuck how fine shit. She looks like Holly Bailey's sister, and I'm going to tell her. Get the fuck out of here. There you go. Yes. When you call it, though, because you didn't get the fuck out of here. Like, it's going to be 2017, and we still judging people? That's God's job. That's why you don't got a job, because you're too busy doing God's job. Stop judging people. Stop it. Man, tell it, man. Tell it. Like kings and queens, brothers and sisters. I'm really talking to everybody right now, but I'm just addressing this to black people. You don't have to be ashamed to watch anime. You can watch more than just sports, reality shows, boys in the hood. And, and if you feel like niggas gonna judge you, you're right. Niggas gonna judge your ass regardless. And if you're black, fuck you gonna get double judged. But hey, it, fuck you know what I'm saying? In my Rick Ross voice, it is what it is. <laughs> no, for real though. All jokes aside, listen to this. People are calling anime fake, childish, and say you too old for that shit. But they watching Love and Hip Hop. Boy, if you don't get stop it. I you know, honestly have stop. not seen an episode of Love and Hip Hop. Real and I'm black. Like, it's about as real as I'd be too busy watching anime. Anime? You crazy ass niggas. And honestly, that's all TV is really nowadays. Reality shows. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna watch anime. They box every other episode that's entertaining to watch and low key they give you life lessons if you really paying attention. Yes. Black people. You know racist stuff happen to us every day. They even address racism in anime sometimes. All right. Check this out. Oh, I know this scene. This is from One Piece. Oh yeah. I fell off of One Piece a while ago, but I made sure I watched that scene. Look at that. But yeah, anime teaches life lessons, especially Dragon Ball Z. Go like Goku. Man, you can push past your limits. Go beyond what you think you can do. You know? Stuff like that. And there's some more examples like that too. You know? And just... That's just how the world is now. It's fucked up, but that's just how it is. And no, all anime ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? That anime in particular does teach some life lessons at times, and it's childish at other times, fight at other times, funny at other times. You know what I'm saying? But there, there are also some weird ass anime out there, like you know, but we don't, we don't venture that side. You know, being probably sitting on Jim Tama. There's enough anime shows out there that have normal things in it. And I'm not just talking about Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. There's plenty of other big shows that have the same morals as those shows. Uh, like My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan. Oh, that's my shit. Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, Ghoul Metal Alchemist. Yeah, Bleach. Fairy Tales. Man, what? Some 
Hey, I'm digging that. Hey, y'all the goats for that. All that. I love all that shit. And I'm digging that Resurrection Up poster right there. That's one of my favorite movies. That's really that from Funimation. Look how I slid that in there, though, real subtle. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just go download their app on your Xbox and PlayStation and, you know, watch some stuff on there. It's only like, what, eight, nine dollars a month. Just go check it out. You know what I'm saying? You probably like it was already like, downloaded on mine. It's like they going down, but whatever. That's what I was saying. But no, for real, I do understand why some black people don't want to admit to watching anime. We got people running around here Naruto style, running the class Naruto style, trying to turn Super Saiyan in fights, but I mean, if they want to get dropped, let them get dropped. Ain't nobody told you to be like, don't fight or guard in the fight. Yeah. You, know, you know you couldn't do that. That's you what just, they like. You tried, you wanted to get dropped. At the end of the day, that's, that's what you know. You don't go to the movies and do what, try to do what you do in the movies, right? No. Okay. I don't know why you try to do it there. Basically, I'm just saying you can be that clean, cool-ass hooper that get holes and watches anime. Or does things related to anime, like in the anime industry. Or if you want to be the black, educated man who loves only one woman. Or still get holes. You can be that and watch anime. Or be in that industry with something anime-related. I'm just saying you can be anything you want to be. Black people, man, we, tell we, you, we expanding. We doing just more than you know sports rapping. We got to expand. You more. too. We got black man in the White and House. And a lot of more stuff. Leave, but he was there. He was in the White House. Let's say that the right. anime is Japanese house. We, we gonna, gonna step in there. See, see kick that shit and down. Be the first one we put in. Pretty soon we're gonna be we're gonna be the ones making you know. See y'all too. You got, I got y'all, man. And then uh, basically just be yourself. That's all I'm saying. Did I hear everything in this video? Man. Man. <laughs> he got that, man. Word. Oh. So we're going to cut the video off right there. Guys, how I personally feel about it is, man, I don't know where to start. Now, me personally, I love a pretty face, slim waist, curves, all that beautiful face on a, on a, on a woman. That's just as much as the next guy. But I don't care, man. If you, if I'm with you, if I, if I want to be with you, and you judge me for watching anime playing video games all that stuff you, just, you know man you can get the fuck out of here shit you can get my flying nimbus you nah nah you ain't gonna get my flying nimbus but nah you can get out of here kick that bit out of here get to stepping and you know for you guys that accept that want to that still want to be with that woman that judges you i know i know you get tired of uh, Going to the restroom, bathroom, taking a shower. But you know you ain't taking no shower. You sitting there on the toilet watching anime. And I know you get tired of whenever your girl leaves to go to her job. You peek out the window. And when she's hit, when she hit that corner, you haul ass and running straight to your room. And pull out the laptop, computer, phone, whatever you watch anime on. See, that gets tiring. Or oh, oh. oh, when she's on the way, she calls and you on the way. You got your little... A Naruto shirt on, Dragon Ball wristbands, you know, shit like that. And you just gotta, you know, take all that off. Now, for you women that bag on guys like that, now, you claim that you haven't, that you don't like anime, you haven't watched anime, but I know 99.8%, if not all, of women that grew up watch Sailor Moon at least one time in their life and i know that for a fact so you can't you can't you have no room to talk so guys what i wanted to show you all is uh three things kind of i'm a, i'm not even gonna say a word if you a real anime fan you know where i got this from you know what it is and you know i'm not gonna say not one word so let me go ahead and show you guys this Original artwork, not same at all. And one more thing, this one, this one's gonna probably turn y'all heads. So let me get it out. It's exactly what you think it is. It's Shinron wrapped around a Dragon Ball. The bandana at the end, or the headband, sorry. It says Dragon Soul with, Jap with, with it in, translated in Japanese lettering. I had this tattoo for two years. No regrets. 
and I would never regret it. That's what I wanted, because Dragon Ball has been a part of my life since I was two years old, and I've been exposed to all these other animes like Dimension W, Medica Box, uh, Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul, I'm going to get into Parasite sooner, Hunter x Hunter, Full Metal Alchemist, Akamega Kill, you know, all that, shit, all that stuff, versatile, not just Dragon Ball, and I'm proud of it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, because I really want this to get out to everybody, because, shit, I'm a real anime head, anime head, and I'm, I'm grown, and I'm damn proud of it. So, guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Sayonara.